Hello and welcome to this Evercade VS UI tour. The Evercade VS comes with a brand new user interface designed from scratch to give you the best gaming experience possible, with multiple features and customization options never before available on Evercade. Let's take a look. Cartridges. The Evercade VS can support two cartridges simultaneously. When inserted, your games will appear on screen with their box art. You can sort your game collection by alphabetical title, year of release, and by the number of players. When you select a game, you'll be greeted by a new screen. This will show you the box and a screenshot, along with information about the game such as its release year, genre and the number of players. You will also get a short description about the game to read. You will also be able to scroll down and see the game's controls. To start the game, select play. If you wish to load the last save that you made straight away, just hit last save. When you insert a second cartridge, both collections will appear together on screen, with the total number of games shown at the top. You can then sort both of these collections by title, release year, and the number of players for both carts. You can also select which cartridge is available to be seen on screen at that time, with the option for cartridge 1, cartridge 2, or both cartridges together. The new Evercade VS UI has been updated with all of the information for the entire catalogue of games available on Evercade. That's over 280 available at launch. Display and themes. The Evercade VS has several new features to maximise your on-screen enjoyment of your games. You can now select three different aspect ratios to view your game. The original ratio option will present the game in its original ratio, scaled vertically to fit your screen. The pixel perfect option will use integer scaling to create the cleanest image possible. Full screen will stretch the image to fill your screen both vertically and horizontally. The Evercade VS also has scanline filters, which will add the effect of a CRT-style scanline to your gameplay. You can select to have a subtle scanline effect or a strong scanline effect. At the bottom of the menu, you can also select to have scanlines for the user interface. You can change all of these display options for your game whilst you are playing by using the in-game menu. If you are not using the full screen option, then you do have the option of implementing a background image called a bezel. There are six included images to fill this background space, which you can select either from the settings menu or the in-game menu. Or if you wish, you can just have a plain black background. You can also change the presentation of the user interface by selecting one of three different themes. The default theme is VS Classic. There is also a light mode which emulates the color of the console. And there is a dark mode. There is also an additional high contrast mode as part of the accessibility menu to help those with any color sight issues. New themes and bezels will be available with future updates. Save game. 
there are now several options when it comes to saving games. Inside the in-game menu, the first option is Quick Save, which will automatically write to the Quick Save slot. For handheld users, this is slot number one. The Load Last Save option will replicate the Last Save function from the cartridge menu and load your last save game. To save a game manually, you can select Save and select which slot you wish to save your game to. To load a game manually, the same process applies. Click Load and then select which slot you wish to load the game from. You can now manage your save games by deleting your saves. In either the save or load game menus, you can select which slot you want to clear and simply press X to delete that save file. Controller mapping. The Evercade VS supports multiple controllers that use USB-A. If you wish to add another non-Evercade VS controller, you can manually set the mapping for it. On the left-hand sidebar, under Settings, click Map Controller. Then hold down the button on the selected controller to activate it. You can then map these buttons as indicated on the screen to match that of an Evercade VS controller. The Evercade VS supports multiple USB controllers so stick it in and give it a go. Network and settings. The Evercade VS comes with built-in Wi-Fi for easy updates. To connect, simply find your wireless network, select it and input your password. To check for an update, go to the settings menu on the left-hand side bar and select Check for updates under System. Your console will either be up to date or will offer you a new update. When you start your Evercade VS and you are connected to the internet, you will be offered to update if a new version is available. If there are ever any problems with your device, you can select Factory Reset in this settings menu, which will reset the console to its latest firmware. You will also be able to view all legal information and credits for the console and the games. This is where Evercade VS Founder Edition customers will be able to find the names they submitted when purchasing the console. Thank you for watching this user interface tour. We can't wait to hear your feedback on these new features once you get your hands on the new Evercade VS. To give us your feedback, please visit our social media accounts at Evercade Retro on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook or email interested at evercade.co.uk.